you're watching Slasher Pepper. And you better keep watching, I'll get my chainsaw and cut you in two. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today is another Christmas special. Well, actually not another Christmas special, the first Christmas special, but we have another one coming up tomorrow. Uh, but today is episode two of Cooking with SP. Today we'll be making a, a typical Christmas uh, plague, basically, with some uh, lamb chops. Uh, this is, you know, perfect for the family. Do if, you, if you're gonna make some recipes with the family and you want to shock them because you're not a vegan yet, even though it's 2020 already, um, make some lamb chops. Uh, this is loosely inspired by the movie Silent Night, Deadly Night, and make sure you watch to the end because I have an uh, announcement for a collab for this video. So check it out. So what you're gonna do first is grab your mint and make some sort of chimichurri which pairs really nicely with the lamb. So once you've cut it up nicely, put it in a bowl. Then what you're gonna do next is grate the lemon in the same bowl, squash a little bit of garlic over it. As you can see, I had to help out my garlic squeezer for a little bit. Add a little bit of red chili for this subtle spice. Lastly, add some olive oil. And then finally stir it all up. Now you should already add a little bit of your spices, then season the lamb by adding the pepper, the salt, and then a little bit of olive oil. Now your lamb is ready to hit the pan. However, first you're gonna want to heat up the pan, of course. Once the pan is as hot as a seat belt during summer, you can put in the lamb, but you're gonna want to put it on the fat side first. This way, the fat gets to cook through the entire meat. While you wait, you can stay clean by washing your hands. This one is for Lemmy. Happy birthday, Lemmy. Stay clean, stay clean, stay clean. And oh my god, look at that. Once the fat side is this sort of color, you can put them on their sides. And now it's just a matter of waiting for how you like your lamb chops. Rare, medium rare, maybe even well done. It's just a matter of feeling. Now I like my lamb chops medium rare, so I'm gonna turn them around now. Now wait for the other side to be done, take them off, and it's almost ready to be served. Put the lamb chops on a plate for some great display. And then last but not least, sprinkle that chimmy fucking churry all over it. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Doesn't that look fucking delicious? So there you guys have it. A special Christmas plate. Um, if you make this uh, for yourself at home, make sure to send it over on my Instagram, at Slasher Pepper. But I promise you guys for a collab uh, shout out, and I want to shout out Terra at Synth High. He made a Sign of Night, Deadly Night inspired cocktail. His is a bit more inspired <laughs> by the film than my recipe is. Uh, and he's a professional, as you can see in this clip. Yeah, you're gonna pour this into a glass. Oh god, you're gonna spill it all over the f***ing place? Well, sorta. But definitely go check out his video, he's a great guy. A lot of fun collaborating with him yet again. And then you've got your J&B Scotch. So J&B Scotch is used in a ton of horror movies, going from the 60s to the 70s. It was a lot of the Italian horror movies, um, giallos, things like that. Uh, you see it in this movie in um, Ira's Toy Store, where the, uh, the Christmas party happens. And it's not much of a party, it's really just, you know, like three employees and then Billy and they, you know, all get drunk and give him a drink to go out and, you know, be Santa Claus. Uh, I also collab with him on a Jason Goes to Hell recipe. Uh, that was a Jason Burger. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. I'll put a link over there or there. Um, and yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a great Christmas Eve. Um, I'm going to enjoy this recipe all alone because um, it's, you know, COVID struck during 2020. So I have no one to share it with, but um, honestly, it looks so good. I don't mind not sharing it. So that's it for this video. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger.
spill it all over the fucking place.